Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you what I think is one of the number one biggest eyeshadow mistakes. So before we start, let's just sort this out. Okay, so I've filled in my brow and groomed it, and it's a bit darker so that you can kind of see the placement of things. I used Anastasia Beverly Hills in taut and blonde eyebrow gel. So it's strange to see a darker brow on me. Now what I've done is I haven't thickened the brow any more than it really is. I've just filled in all the missing bits um, and I've extended it to the very last hair, which is here. So a lot of people think that, the, that they're not great at blending and that's why eyeshadows um, oftentimes don't work out the same way. Now blending is a very simple thing and it's easily, it's easy to blend and I'll show you in a different video. But the biggest eyeshadow mistake that people make is not with blending, it's about placement. Because if you get the placement wrong, the whole eyeshadow effect is gonna look bizarre. And you know me, I don't like to cover the entire eye with eyeshadow, I like it to enhance your eye. And the way that we do that, it's really all about placement. I'm just gonna use one single eyeshadow for this whole tutorial, um, which is just gonna be a bronze. Now, a lot of people think, I'm just gonna put a dot here. So a lot of, I'm just gonna, let me just do that. Now, the only time it's really appropriate to put color just on the eyelid is in you're following the shape of your eye here, is if you're only gonna apply it to the eyelid only. Because I mentioned this before, my eyebrow stops here. But if we're only applying it here, if I draw this line up here, it's cutting off the full whack of the eye. And it's gonna give a very distorted look because you're basically just, you know, going like that, right? That means that there's so much more space here, which is why it looks a bit mental. So what I like to do is, and let me show you on my eye, with my eyebrow, the placement. So there. So let me draw that there. That's the placement of the eyeshadow. It is in the crease, but it is extended out from my eye. Oops. So does that make sense? So this is the ideal placement to start because it is corresponding with the tail of the brow. So let me just draw in um, as best I can in a bizarre mirror. So it's right here. And I'm following it all the way around. We're just gonna use one single eyeshadow color for this. Okay, so that is the placement. It is slightly longer than my actual eye and I'm following the tail of the brow as my guideline for where it stops. So let me just now fill in the entire portion of this eye with this color. So that is the entire portion of the eye filled in to the correct placement of your brow. So if your brow is longer, you would go out farther, and if it is shorter, you would go in shorter. Now what you do is take a blending brush, starting right there, the outside corner, and blend back and forward. And you're slowly gonna diffuse what you've just done. And this is gonna bring up that eyeshadow up higher and it's gonna create a really nice, beautiful blend. And you can swirl it up as well. Don't be afraid because this is a blending brush, it's a clean brush, so there's nothing on it other than this product here. So when you're doing the blending, don't be afraid to bring it up and out. Okay, and then just blend up. Now what you could, we're just gonna use this one color, but what you could do is you could now add a lighter shade here at the brow bone if you wanted to. I don't, I think it's just fine. All you're gonna do is now connect it on the outside corner all the way in. And when you're doing this, it is so important that it connects to that outside edge. If it doesn't connect, 
you've cut, you're cutting the eye off and giving it a peculiar shape. So now we're going to curl the lashes and apply mascara. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> I applied some mascara to the top and the bottom lashes. Now, so look, let me zoom out slightly. So there you go, you get it from a more realistic distance. One eyeshadow, I literally, let me, I literally used, I did only use this one. That's what I used. All over the eye, and I used that color because my eyes are green and it's got a bit of red in it, so it tends to make the eye look a bit more green. But everything is in place. It blends to the tail, it started right here at the correct point, so no, not too far in, not too far out. Everything is within harmony of um, the shape of the eye, if that makes sense. Let me show you another trick. When using blusher, let me zoom in slightly. When using blusher, so I'm gonna use this one. This is by Hourglass and it's called Radiant Magenta. And I'm just gonna apply a bit of a whisper of it here, all right? So this is the color I used. Now, you'll notice this more in photographs, but there's something so beautiful about doing it. All you do is take your blending brush, just take a whisper amount of it, knock it off, and then lightly just run it through the crease of your eye. Very lightly, whatever shade you've used, just lightly run it through the crease of the eye. It will add um, continuity to your look so that your blusher here looks like it, 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 everything ties together and it ties together in such a beautiful way and it looks beautiful in person because it's just this fraction of a color and in photos it looks amazing because you look like you belong. Everything belongs and that's the goal. Thanks so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.